Yeah, blessing sports trackers, welcome back to the channel. And for those persons who are here for the first time, I'm going to ask that you go ahead and subscribe. And after you have subscribed, please ensure that you hit that notification bell so that you will be notified each time I put out a new video. Alright, please remember to give this video a like as well. Um, when you like the video, um, sports trackers, it helps more people to see the video. Alright, so please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Alright, so we are a few days away from the national trials that will feature two of our mega stars in track and field. Two of the world's fastest women. Right, I'm talking about Shelly and Fraser Price, of course, the pocket rocket, and Elaine Thompson Hira. Elaine, the plane, right, the fastest woman alive. Now, sports trackers, I just want to give my two cents on what I see happening with these two ladies. As I see it in a sports trackers, I, I personally think that there is some amount of anxiety and some amount of uncertainty in Ilian Thompson's camp, right? I, I think personally, you know, Ilian Thompson Hira, she has been running a lot of races this, this um, season. She has run a lot of 100 meter races and we saw where she was beaten by Sherika Jackson in her last race, the, that in a 200 meter race, right? Now, in all her 100 meter races, she was able to win and she was able to run some decent times. You understand? I think she um, opened with um, some 10 9 clocking and then she, she went down to 10 8, she went to 10 7 9. She has been lingering in and around the 10, 7, 9, 10, 8 region. All right. So, um, yes. Yeah, so she has been running some decent times. However, personally, I think it is good to, 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 to get some races under your belt before the, 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 the national championship and before the world championships as well. However, in my opinion, I think Hillian Thompson has run too many races this season. You understand? I understand the importance of getting race sharp, but personally, I think she has outdone herself in terms of running too many races. And, th and I think she is suffering from a bit of fatigue. Now, the reason, in my opinion, for, for this is, is, is because of the uncertainty and the anxiety that, that is coming out of Ilian's camp. Because if we should really follow Ilian, um, Ilian's progress in our sports trackers, we have to remember that this is a woman that ran 10.54 last year, right, to end her season. And this is a woman that ran um, 10.6 at the Olympics, right? Now, after that brilliant season that she had last year, um, she made a decision that was shocking to many. You understand? She decided to to switch camps. Well, I shouldn't. I shouldn't even say she she made a decision to switch camps. She made a decision to basically stop training with the MVP training um, group, right? She made a decision to leave MVP because at the time when she made the decision, she did not really have a camp in mind. With, um, in which she, she would be training, right? It was just, it was after that she um, decided that she would be working with her husband, right? And while I, I, I respect her decision as, a, as, a, as an adult, you understand, and as a, as a professional athlete that, you know, would basically know what is best for her, you know, we have to basically look on what is happening now, you know, in hind in hindsight, and 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 wonder whether or not she made the best decision, because when you have a season, when you're coming off a season, when you, you know, you have run, you have managed to 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 go so close to the world record. You understand? You you managed to run a 10.5, 10.54, and the world record is ten point four nine. And when you you know. 
think about the fact that you have been doing well consistently under the guidance of this particular coach, right, Stephen Francis. And all of a sudden, you, ha you, are, you have now decided to really put an end to that relationship and basically train with somebody else. You know, as I said, it, it's a decision that you have to make as an adult, as a professional athlete. But I think also you have to be prepared to face the consequences that might come with that sort of decision. You understand? Because personally, you know, I think Stephen Francis and Glenn Mills, they are two of the best coaches in the world. Not just in Jamaica, in the world. You understand? And, and I personally think that, yes, there may be other good coaches, and there are. You understand? Because when you look at what Shelly and Fraser Price has managed to achieve with her coach, you have to admit that there are other brilliant coaches around. You understand? But when you leave a, a well-renowned coach, right, somebody who would have delivered on many occasions, who, who would have guided, conditioned, many athletes, many mega stars, right? And when you make a decision to leave such a person, there's naturally going to be some amount of doubt when you go to somebody else. I'm not saying it can't work. You understand? Because it can, right? But you're going now, you're going, you're now working with a person that, ha that does not have a reputation as big as the person that you, 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 you are coming from. I think that is one of the reasons why Ilian Thompson has run so many races this season. Because of the anxiety, because of the uncertainty, you know, they, they are anxious to see if what they are doing is working. I am not going to say that what they are doing is not working. Because to get an athlete to run 10.7s or 10.8, you understand, to get a female athlete to run 10.7s and 10.8, it is still a big accomplishment. You understand? But if you want to chase, if you want to chase that world record, if you want to go back to the shape that you were in last season, you understand, running 10.6 and 10.5 and going even for that world record, I believe that it, it would have required, you know, consistency in terms of working with probably the same coach that brought you to, the 10 6 and the 10 5, um, 10 5, you know, and just I don't know what the issues were, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm not in a position to really say that she should not have left. You understand? The, at one point, um, there was this argument in the media about you know the, the possibility of Shakari Richardson coming to MVP. I, I can't speak to that, right? But um, many persons believe that is the reason why she would have left. You understand? But whatever the reasons are, and I am not saying that she should not have left. All I am saying is that once you leave, you have to be prepared, you know, to live with the consequences that will come of not having the same coach that you had that brought you to the 10 6 and the 10 5s that you were able to run. You understand? Because not everybody can offer that kind of guidance as a coach to really get you to really, to, to run a 10-5. You understand? So I, I personally, um, I, I believe in what Stephen Francis is doing. I believe in what Glenn Mills is doing as a coach. Um, Ronaldo Walcott is, is starting to prove himself as well as one of those elite coaches. You understand? So I, I personally believe that, you know, to be the best, you have to train with the best. Now, um, when you think about what Shelley and Fraser Price has been able to achieve this year, this track season, running 10 6 two times, right? 10 6 7 in Kenya and once again um, over the weekend in Paris. When you think about the fact that Shelly and Fraser Price, under the guidance of Mr. Walcott, under the guidance of Coach Walcott, was able to run 10 6 last season, you know, it is clear that Shelly and Fraser Price is in the shape of her life. You understand? Shelly and Fraser Price, under the guidance of Coach Walcott, and 
hats off to Coach Walcott and what he has been able to achieve with Shelly and Fraser Price because I personally think that, you know, Coach Walcott is, is, is a coach that I think deserves a lot more recognition and a lot more praise than, than he's presently getting. You understand? Because Coach Walcott has managed to make Shelly and Fraser Price into a 10-6 ten, ten runner. When I looked at the last race, that last 10-6-7 that Shelly and Fraser Price ran, it was a perfect race. I mean, you could see the focus, you could see the determination from the start of the race to the end of the race. What I saw was a perfectly executed race. You know, and, it's, and, and I think it speaks to what is going on in, in training with Shelley and Fraser Price. Now, with, with that said, and with the issues that Ilian Thompson Hira has been having over this season, I mean, she has had her injury um, um, issues because we, we, we hear about um, this shoulder injury that she has and there is, a, a, there is an Achilles injury that she suffers from. That's not a new injury. But there are two ways to look at injuries in a sports trackers. Because when I think about the injuries that she has been carrying, you understand, this season. And, you know, it, 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 it could be that, you know, injuries come naturally sometimes. Sometimes injuries come naturally as an athlete. But it, it could also you know, be attributed to mismanagement. You understand? It could also be a case where, you know, the different approach to coaching could have affected her body, you know, and, and hence causing injuries to, to, to come about. So that's another thing. That's another possibility. That's another angle at which, you know, we can look at this thing from. So I'm I'm not sure, you know, based on what I'm seeing, I'm not sure that Ilian Thompson Hira will turn up at champs in, in her best self. I don't think she's in the best shape of her life. I don't I don't think we will see the best of Ilian Thompson Hira this season. And I think Shelly and Fraser Price is ahead of her right now. I think Shelly and Fraser Price will go ahead and win the cha the trials um this this week and I think also, based on what I'm seeing so far, that Shelly and Fraser Price, in 10 shape, will be victorious come this summer at the World Championship. So that is really my view on the whole situation, ladies and gentlemen. So please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think. Blessings.